Hey friends, today it is absolutely peeing it down. <laughs> it's raining so hard. Can you see that rain? <laughs> I am about to do something that I wasn't expecting to be doing today. Um, this video is not completely planned. We're just gonna wing it. I am going into Bath to meet someone who is on holiday here and she is from California and she has an incredible plant collection. <laughs> we're gonna go, hopefully we're gonna go to the plant shop Botanica Studio, maybe get a drink. I don't know, she's also with her partner so I'll meet him and yeah, shall we go? vlogger yet I forgot to record kind of getting out of the car and my journey to Botanica studio but here I am still outside waiting for my friend to arrive I didn't do any talking on camera in the shop but I did ask the staff if it was okay for me to film and they were okay with it so I felt a lot more comfortable just kind of moving my phone around even though there were customers in there but this shop was incredible I can't wait to visit it again it's so so beautiful they had so many huge plants like this homolomina rubescens I think it's called and then this tenanthe was huge and they had some incredible incredible hanging ripsalis i like all of the jungle cacti were huge look at the size of this 
the paradoxa like that is the paradoxa of dreams that is what i want <laughs> They have plants of all shapes and sizes so there's really big ones but also some little ones they have these carnivorous plants and a huge air plant it's just on the screen here look at that did you see it it was huge i've not seen one that big before they had these lovely glass cabinets with plants inside and the other one has these really cool drawers which you'll see a little bit later in the video actually kept spotting the philodendron tortum and I was considering picking it up. I can't decide if I like it or not. I never used to like it and I feel like it's one of those plants where it's starting to grow on me. Look at the size of these coniferous plants. They're so tall. I thought they were really cool. And there was an Amphirium clarinervium in the window which was beautiful. And then I spotted this guy here, which mm, I was really intrigued by. It was a type of euphorbia and it was variegated and it was like the only one. And I may or may not have picked it up. <laughs> these other drawers that I mentioned look they're seeds that was their asparagus fern and this one I think is pitcher plants they had monstera seeds I thought that was really cool that you can buy like these massive plants here but you can also buy them as seeds and grow them out yourself it was a really nice selection that they had and they come with like instructions on the back i just i haven't really seen that before in plant shops i thought it was a really nice touch i really 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 love these propagation spheres they're so cute that tiny one was just the sweetest then we spotted these Monstera Thai constellations for £60 each and yep they were tiny but I haven't really seen those in plant shops yet so it's pretty cool that they're making it there and they had a wonderful selection of pots as well and other little bits and bobs like these worm castings and seaweed, pest protector, all sorts of different like insect repellents and plant feeds and I think there was even like plant leaf shine which I'm not sure how I feel about these gorgeous little candles I think there might have been like some soaps and things like that as well just a really lovely selection of things that weren't plants even though the plants were really good as well <laughs> I'm just really appreciating the music in the background I hope I don't get a copyright strike <laughs> it's really jazzy music they had on <laughs> Thought it was really cool that they had the sheet moss we didn't often see that around they had like whole terrarium kits that you could buy that was really really cool i asked if it was okay to film while she was wrapping up the little bits and bobs that i bought and oh, obviously she asked why i was filming and i thought about having a youtube and it <laughs> i just i feel so awkward promoting it out and about but at the same time it felt nice to be able to film in this way and like the staff in the shop just know that that's what I was doing so this experience has given me the like oomph to actually go up to staff initially when walking into garden centres and plant shops and just say I'm filming is it okay that I film for a YouTube channel and maybe I'll be able to do more talking in in my uh, kind of plant shop tour videos from now on it did feel so much more more nice and comfortable when the staff already knew <laughs> lesson learned
need to go there. I really, really do. I got an Uber from the station. It was a serious, a full trip. Oh, really? Okay, this one. Oh, this is the one. Oh, this is the one. Oh, this is the one. Just, just, I mean, just whack it in however you can. <laughs> How do you print this? So euphorbia, what's the other name? What's the... It's something like, it's a K N U T H I I. Like maybe N N N N I? Something like that. We'll but go with that. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to give it a different name. I feel like it's a Kirk. Oh, yeah, I bought one last week. <laughs> yeah. It just looks so cool. It looks a little bit like. Have you seen the, um, oh, they're like life raft. Tactile, I don't know what they're called, but the ones with the weird, like, they've got flowers that come out, like, they, they look like life, lifesaver plants, that's really? what they're called. Yes. Oh, okay. It looks oh, a little bit it. like that. Oh, I like it, yeah, I just like that one, I like, I love I want it. I just spotted the Antonio, that's amazing. I think it's one, I like this. Like this, mm, no, Oh my goodness. Oh, like a narrowy one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've Ooh, so I've got a very tiny one like that, but it's not doing this. Can I just, can I come closer? Yeah, no? That's okay. I'm just going to zoom in. I'll just zoom in, that's okay. Yeah, so if you have that one, it should be No, so I've, I've got one just like that, but I was considering... Yeah, I mean, I was going to put it on the moth pole, but maybe I just need to get like a plank or something to yeah. climb up. Yeah, because that one was on the moth pole, then we packed it off it. And then we slapped it off. This gorgeous. Right. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pam. It'd be great, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. So I didn't record any videos with Danya and her boyfriend in them, but here are some photos of us. We went and sat in one of the squares in Bath and watched some people play bowls <laughs> and just chatted. It was really, really lovely. I got to hear about Danya's work and what she does and also her boyfriend Danny's work. And it was just, it was lovely. It was a really lovely experience. I think I've learned from this experience that actually meeting up with people is really lovely. I've been very anxious to do that, even though it's something I have wanted to do, like to immerse myself into like the real world planty community. It's been, it's just been something that's scared me a little bit. I'm not the most social person, but um, hanging out with Dania and Danny just, yeah, it, it felt really nice. I have just had the loveliest couple of hours. Now let's get home, I'll show you what I've got and I'll tell you who I met up with. Good grief, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> It is a different day, which you might be able to tell because the hair is slightly less poofy. Um, so today at this current moment is Tuesday. I've just got home from work and I was like excited to edit the video. And then I was like, ah, oh, I didn't end it. I didn't end the video. <laughs> so the last time you saw me would have been like getting into my car after having a lovely, lovely time in Bath. Um, so I need to update you, don't I? So, the person I met up with was Danya. I really hope 
I got that right. <laughs> Honestly, we've laughed about the pronunciation of, of names. <laughs> Dania from, what is her handle? I think it's like, I'm, I'm Dania Castro. Probably saying surname wrong, if that even is her surname, I don't know. Anyway, I met up with her, which is insane because she's from the States like what <laughs> she was over here and we met up like my mind is blown if you if you don't follow her Instagram account you need to especially if you love Anthuriums as much as I do like I mean I speechless speech like her plants are stunning she's stunning she's the sweetest kindest person in real life like i had such a lovely time with her her partner was there as well he is also lovely really chatty i had such a nice time just chatting with them and like i'm not i'm not the most social person i I'm actually quite awkward in real life. I, um, I don't know, I guess just the neurodivergence in me, I'm a bit awkward in real life. I get anxious. I don't like, I don't like meeting people I don't know. I don't like being in situations where I don't know what's expected of me. I find that all really nerve wracking and it's definitely getting worse as I get older. Um, and there have been so many occasions where like I've, wanted to do something like go to a plant swap and then on the day I've just not been able to do it like I just couldn't do it and I didn't feel that that much with Dania it just it felt okay like it was a bit it was a bit spontaneous spontaneous what spontaneous a bit of spontaneity it was it was spontaneous. I'd we'd like she'd messaged me saying that she's gonna be in the UK, like, do I wanna meet up? Um and I initially thought she meant at the end of September, but she actually meant like the same week that she messaged me. <laughs> so it was really spontaneous. And I met met her and her partner in Bath and it was just amazing. Obviously you've seen the the plant shop that we went to. I can't believe I've never been to Botanica Studio before stunning as I said I've I've sat down to edit the video and realized I hadn't finished it so I've not actually edited it I've not looked back for <laughs> any of the other footage um, and I didn't film with Dania and her partner I had asked before if she'd be up for it and she said that she would be but I felt really awkward and just didn't <laughs> didn't do that <laughs> I did get some photos though <laughs> of us together um, she's lush go and follow her if you don't already it was it was so lovely and so surreal to have met her and <laughs> and she did I mean I still can't I I cannot fathom I, I cannot <laughs> I cannot fathom that this happened she gave me some seedlings Like, you saw her Instagram, right? <sighs> In this little box are three, are three plants I never thought I would own. And I, I know, I know you can't tell how special they are. But I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how special they are. So this one here is, oh, uh, I can't even, <laughs> is an Anthurium Doc Block Magnificum. It says F2 in brackets and then cross self. So I don't know what the F2 means. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know that so Dania has created a seed with her anthurium dot block like selfed it basically <laughs> I haven't I have no words like I felt emotional look at these I mean I'm having a very overwhelming over emotional day anyway and I don't I don't need to tear up right now let's not <laughs> let's not do it but I felt emotional looking at these plants like I can't I can't I can't this next one this little middle one is an anthurium bessier af crossed with an ace of spades the green form can you even it's gonna be so mm, it's gonna be so beautiful <laughs> so beautiful it's gonna be so dark so velvety <laughs> and then this little one down here is an anthurium tazula red crystallinum crossed with itself what there's not like there's no way there's uh, there's like not enough words to say thank you like there just isn't I I'm terrified <laughs> to look after these I'm so scared I I I've got no words they're the most precious thing right now I, I, I. I just I can't fathom it anyway <laughs> I mean that's phenomenal I should have ended I should have ended the video with that <laughs> there's, I mean nothing compares but I did get a couple of things in Botanica studio as well so I thought I'd show you that first of all I've picked up some seaweed plant feed concentrate and I am gonna use this as like a foliar spray um, I'm really intrigued I've heard good things about seaweeds so some of the benefits for using seaweed is it has um, so it's a good natural source of magnesium potassium and trace elements I don't know what those trace elements are but I'm assuming they are good for your plants organic and sustainable I'm just I'm just really intrigued I've heard good things I have been wanting to do a foliar spray um, so why not why not give it a go if you've used seaweed before please let me know like let me know what it's looking like Dania said that um, if you use it in the substrate in like like the glass vessels it kind of look, makes it look a little bit murky so I might avoid that I do think I just want to use it as a foliar spray. I also spotted these gorgeous propagation, these gorgeous propagation balls, which I've already got plants in, <laughs> but they're just spheres. I really love just the simplicity, the simplicity of it. I've put some Hoya Linearis in this one. Um, I wanted to chop and prop some off to put in that daisy that I got from Rosebud yeah Rosebud so I've chopped some off I'm gonna I am gonna go with the linearis in that one and this is my variegated Maranta that I propped ages ago that is rooted and could probably be potted up I'm just not really sure what I want to do with it to be honest because this section is all variegated I'm probably just gonna die and oh, and I did pick up a plant. I did show this one in the video. What a funky plant. It is a Euphorbia, Euphorbia nuncii, maybe? I'm assuming it's a silent K. I might be wrong, I don't know. Um, it was 20 pounds, I think. They do come with like a little care card, which is sweet. So it's a euphorbia. I don't think I've ever had a euphorbia before, but there was something about the way it 
like rose that I really liked and it reminded me of those um what are they called like is it hernia the um like the life lifesaver plants do you know the ones I mean I'll put a photo up the kind of like shape of it reminded me of that but it's not one of those but it is it's variegated you can kind of see the, the variegation on it, which is very cool. You can see it here on this bit as well. It's got little spikes, so it's a bit sharp. And then at the tip here, there are some little leaves, which are freaking adorable. Like, that is so cute. <laughs> so yeah, a bit of a weird one. I've never seen it before. I saw it and I was like, yeah, I need you, you're coming home with me. And here it is. Haven't repotted it yet. I will do. Um, obviously, that is very exciting. I'm really happy, and it was a gorgeous shot. But uh, right now, nothing really compares. Nothing really compares. So I am now going to edit this video and get it uploaded, ready for tomorrow. I have had the doors and the windows open this whole time. I'm talking as a motorbike is going by. I have got my mic on, so I'm I'm hoping that doesn't get picked up. It probably did, didn't it? <laughs> I really enjoyed meeting Dania. If you're watching, thank you so much. Like it was wonderful to meet you and it was wonderful to meet Danny as well. Just so so lovely. That was so awkward. <laughs> If you don't follow Dania's Instagram account, please go and check her out. Her collection is phenomenal. Like, what she does is like magic. I can't, I can't, I just, I don't know how she does it. It's amazing. I am struggling to end this video. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> My next video that goes out should be the rearranging the cabinet and the shelves. And I've been putting it off for ages but I think that's because I just didn't know what the plan was and I've got an idea of what I want it to look like and I think it's going to look quite different so stick around for that if you are interested make sure you're subscribed hit the bell button so that you don't miss that upload it should be next Wednesday give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if there are any other like plant shops in and around Bristol or garden centres or anything that you'd like me to go in and explore and film I will be more than happy to do that <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!